So let's get started with 2 Timothy chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, according to the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear son, grace, mercy, and peace from God, the Father in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And again, this is how Paul introduces his letters, um, grace and peace. And then he added mercy in this one uh, to his brother, Timothy, um, who I believe is currently still in Ephesus. Um, So there's a lot here. Let's continue to read. Uh, Encouragement to be faithful. I thank God, whom I serve, as my forefathers did, with a clear conscience, as night and day. I constantly remember you in my prayers, recalling your tears. I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I have been reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother, Louise, or Lois, and in your mother, Eunice. Um, and I and persuaded now lives in you also for this reason i remind you to fan um, into flame the gift of god which is in you through the laying on of my hands for god did not give us a spirit of limit or timidity uh, timidity but a spirit of power of love and of self-discipline so do not be ashamed to testify about our lord or ashamed of me his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God who has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel." <clears throat> and of this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. That is why I am suffering as I am. Yet I am not ashamed because I know whom I have believed and am convinced that um, he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. What you heard from me keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in christ jesus Uh, guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you guard it with the help of the holy spirit who lives in us do or i'm sorry it lives in us you know that everyone in the province of asia has deserted me including uh phygus or phyglus and hermogenes May the Lord show mercy to the household of one Asiphorus, because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in Rome, he searched hard for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus. Okay, so there's a lot here including more about who Timothy was in his background. So Timothy was, uh, I believe he was partially, he was part of the Gentile group considered, um, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, in that we learn who his, uh, who his grandmother and mother were, um, and that the Holy Spirit was already um guiding the people in his family, including his grandmother, including his mother, and now Timothy himself. And Timothy, remember, he was uh, of a younger age. And so here's Paul giving guidance from the Holy Spirit and telling him that he is a part of a family. And so not only is he part of the kingdom of God, but others in, in his family uh, believed in the Lord, believed in God. And then he was referring to how and why and where that all came about. And that is Jesus. And Jesus, even though he was from the beginning, right? So salvation actually was from the beginning because Jesus is timeless. But it came to pass when he came and was born and died for our sins. And that's how the salvation came to play in time but because the lord is timeless the salvation was already there and that's what paul is stating here so uh let's reread this portion um so he says 
this grace, or I'm sorry, let me go back. Um, so do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord or ashamed of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but by but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it is now it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Did you know that? Did you know that our spirit continues on? So there's a lot of people, you know, <clears throat> that, um, I, let's just go with it, afraid of death witness right here like i'm like uh is it gonna be painful <laughs> you know like it's one of those where you know we're gonna age you know it's gonna eventually happen but you want to be able to do in your sleep but do you really want to go in your sleep isn't that part of suffocation or like or is there some type of euphoria euphoria medicine that will relax you to a point where you don't even know that you've cross the line <laughs> and so but here's the thing <clears throat> while we are in this life we have a task and that is to spread the gospel and so uh paul is telling him though through christ jesus we our spirits will continue on we will continue on and there will be a joining of our holy selves our holy body um and that more to come when we get to revelations and so what we have here is we have um, Paul telling us that with Jesus' death, he de not only defeated sin, he provided salvation, but he also defeated death. And with that, that is where grace comes, comes grace and mercy and his everlasting love, because he wants to be with us for all eternity. So he knew all of these things had to happen, including the death of his son so that way we could be forgiven and we could be seen as holy um just as the lord our lord and savior is holy and so bringing past to present <clears throat> we learned something today if you didn't know that yes our spirit continues on now what happens to that spirit well it's based off of a particular decision in this life whether we believe jesus died for our sins or we do not and so we encourage and being believers in Christ is being able to uh, be strengthened, to go boldly without fear, to proclaim the message of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. And also being knowing that we have the good shepherd, that we have someone always on our side who is God. And then you have the people who may reject it. And that is a decision. But when it comes to the faith, we are to encourage people because we don't want to see them being without love for eternity because Jesus is love. Jesus is the good shepherd. Jesus is holy. We want everybody to be able to. In fact, Jesus and the Lord said it. The salvation provided is for everybody. All they have to do is believe. It's a free gift. Do you believe or do you not believe? And so Paul is encouraging um, Timothy to, with this wisdom and knowledge that we will continue on and that Jesus is the Lord and Savior and he is full of light and he is full of love. And we too can be reflections of that. To uh, We too can help guide people and, uh, have, and, and so that they can see what reflections of love actually is because in this world when it comes to love when it comes to a lot of things that we think is love or how humanistic terms it's completely wrong it's it's not accurate we we consider lust of the flesh lust of this and wants and the needs and things that we want and things that we think we need as <clears throat> part of love no what the Lord has intended for us and being guided by the Spirit, that, that is true love. That is love. That is that fulfillment. That is that completion. Just like, you know, even for myself, again, when this, again, 
Lamb Bible study, with the West Bible study, period, being able to fellowship with one another and being able to spread the uh, the message and being able to look at it from different points of view and, and different examples and being guided fully by the Holy Spirit. So there's so much here just in this first portion. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? <laughs> 